Tonight, that daring rescue mission in Kabul. Thousands of Afghan refugees arriving at the American Air Force Base in Ramstein, Germany. ABC's Will Reeve is there. Tonight, thousands of Afghans desperate to escape the Taliban here at Ramstein Air Base, unsure of what their future holds. The base, a critical transfer point in one of the largest airlift operations in history. Since the mission began, over 111,000 people have been evacuated from Afghanistan, including 5,400 Americans. Over 20,000 Afghans have come through Ramstein, many fleeing their homeland with whatever they could carry. We had no other choice. So we have to leave because our life was in danger. Families, young children, even newborns. Buses bring them to this processing center. After they've been processed, the Afghan evacuees come here to the temporary living facility. There are over 440 of these tents. The Afghans you see walking through the rows here, waiting until they can get on a flight to the U.S. The base nearly at capacity. The airmen stationed here push to the brink, grappling with an immeasurable humanitarian crisis and the carnage of war. Within minutes of that catastrophic attack on Kabul's airport, an Air Force C-17 departed Ramstein with life-saving medical crews and equipment and quickly returned, carrying 22 of the most critically wounded service members and Afghan civilians to Germany for treatment. What's the emotional impact on you? Uh, it's a heavy burden seeing those uh, soldiers come off uh, that air medical evacuation airplane. It's a heavy burden seeing little babies that are, uh, you know, tired, that are crying, that are hungry, that are weary. And that's a heavy burden because the, each and every single one of those are my responsibility. With, this is an enormous military and civilian operation. There have been so far at least 5,000 Afghan evacuees moved out of Ramstein on civilian planes, United and Delta, sitting on the tarmac next to the C-17s they came here on. With Will Reeve really giving us a scope of the mission there. Thank you. Let's bring in our White House correspondent, Mary Alice Parks. And Mary Alice, some Afghans we saw in Will's report there will soon be on their way here to the U.S. This presents another challenge for President Biden and the administration. Yeah, the Pentagon emphasizing today that it is working quickly to ramp up capacity to care for thousands of refugees now arriving in the U.S. at military bases around the country. The Virginia governor said yesterday that as of yesterday, 14,000 evacuees had come through the Dulles Airport. Philadelphia, too, starting to receive flights just this weekend. Of course, the government has programs for resettling refugees, but it will be a challenge to care for so many families so quickly. Exactly.